one of the moments I remember um, with Jess is that I think I was going out on a date with the guy I was seeing at that time. He's now my fiance, and I came, I came. Up, <laughs> we were walking down the hallway, and all of a sudden, I hadn't told him that I liked him. We were just hanging out, and Jess was like, "You love him, you love him," and she was just like screaming it. And I was like, "Shut up, Jess! No, I don't." And I, I totally denied it. to the U.S. about 10 years ago and I'd spent most of my life living in between West Africa, Europe, and the Middle East. And I was really homesick when I moved to Atlanta um, a few years into my high school. And I met this African-American librarian and she told me about this wonderful magical place called Spelman and I was, you know, where you could you know, engage with other African-American women and through all my travels I'd never met I'm really engaged with African-American women. It's just been everyone else but. Um, so that's why I chose to go to Spelm and I applied. And I was a little indifferent until I got on campus. And then it kind of reminded me of what I'd envisioned, like the Garden of Eden. When I was in school, it was kind of like this, this great place where I'm meeting all these new people. I didn't really know um, the lifelong friendships that I would make and the network that I would create. And now you see people all the time in New York that are, um, are Spelman graduates. And even if you weren't close to them in school, um, you you know, we were always happy to see another Spelmanite. And I feel like whoever the Spelmanite is, they will always help you out. If, if you need anything answered, any questions answered, there's always there, you know, someone When I think of fellowship in and spirituality and coming together, Sisters Chapel holds all that um, for me and you know it's a place where you know we kind of acted out like children a little like when we didn't really want to listen to convocation but then also there were times where you you kind of got it you know when a speaker would move you to your core and you're like now I get it and I understand why I'm here. May peace with thee. Blessings to you.